Popularly considered Hungary's finest ever player, Ferenc Puskas is one of the greatest footballers to grace the FIFA World Cup. Born in Budapest on the 2nd of April in 1927, the galloping major was the figurehead of the groundbreaking Hungarian team that dominated world football in the early 1950s. Hungary entered the 1954 FIFA World Cup finals in Switzerland as the undeniable favourites to claim football's most coveted prize. Captained by the irrepressible Ferenc Puskas, they hadn't lost an international match for four years. After beating Korea Republic 9-0, where Puskas scored twice, Hungary faced a tougher proposition in the form of West Germany. In an effort to conceal his best side and to learn about Hungary's, German coach Sepp Herberger sent out a weakened team. The Magic Magyars went for the jugular and were 3-0 up in 21 minutes. Puskas scored the second with a typically clinical finish before setting up the third for Sandor Kocsic. By the 55th minute, Hungary had raced into a 5-1 lead, but soon after, Puskas sustained an ankle injury under a challenge from Werner Liebrich. Despite receiving treatment from the Hungarian physio, he was forced to leave the pitch. Hungary won the match 8-3, scoring their last three goals without their captain. Sadly, the injury Puskas sustained would keep him out of the next two matches. To his relief, Hungary coped well without him, beating Brazil in the quarterfinals 4-2 and Uruguay in the semi-finals 4-2. Kocsic was the hero against Uruguay, securing Hungary's place in the final with two goals in extra time. Bern was the venue for what many expected to be the crowning of the unstoppable Hungarians. More so, they faced the team that they had made light work of in the early rounds, West Germany. The question on everyone's lips was would Puskas play? Despite many journalists suggesting that he was unfit, Hungarian manager Gustav Sebes opted to start with his talented and inspirational captain. Despite fears that Puskas was not fit, he enjoyed a perfect start. In fact, his impact in the early stages was devastating. In the sixth minute, Kocsic's shot hit Echo and rebounded invitingly to Puskas, who scored with a low cross shot past Ture. Two minutes later, Cyborg gave Hungary a 2-0 lead following a dreadful mix-up in the German defence. What followed was perhaps the most unexpected comeback in FIFA World Cup history. Within 11 minutes, the Germans were level. They pulled a goal back in the 10th minute when Max Morlock directed the ball into the net from close range. In the 18th minute, Fritz Valtar's corner fell to Helmut Rahm, who volleyed in past two Hungarian defenders on the line. 2-2 after 18 minutes, quite incredible. Hungary responded well and were unlucky not to take the lead. Hidi Guti hit the post with a snapshot at the end of the first half. And Kocsic hit the top of the crossbar with a header in the second. With six minutes left, Helmut Rahn broke Hungarian hearts when his low left foot shot from the edge of the penalty area evaded Grosic's outstretched hand. Hungary regrouped in search of an equaliser. In the dying minutes, Puskas ran onto Tuff's pass and placed the ball past Turek and into the back of the net. To his dismay, the goal was ruled out for offside and the match ended 3-2 to West Germany. Having conquered all before them, Hungary had lost the one that really mattered, the FIFA World Cup final.
Puskas was gracious in defeat, congratulating German captain Fritz Faltar on a fine victory. After eight years of exile following Hungary's failed revolt against Soviet rule, Puskas graced the FIFA World Cup again at the 1962 finals in Chile. Sadly, his last appearance at the finals was one to forget, as his newly adopted country, Spain, exited the tournament in the first round. A 2-1 defeat to the eventual winners of the tournament, Brazil, brought an end to Puskas' FIFA World Cup career. A prolific goalscorer with a fierce left foot shot, Ferenc Puskas scored an incredible 84 goals in 85 international matches. A FIFA World Cup finalist in 1954, he will always be remembered for his contribution to the beautiful game.